In this lesson, we're going to look at what is probably one of the most remarkable features of Premiere Elements. It's called Smart Trim. We've looked before at how to trim footage from the endpoints and outpoints and just how to get rid of some of the junk in your footage. But Smart Trim is this brilliant way that Premiere Elements looks at your footage and automatically analyzes what is not the best and can remove it for you. So I have this clip here of the girl watering the garden. And there's a few seconds where the camera's kind of getting set up and whatnot. And then she starts watering and, and then the camera kind of zooms in and refocuses and then zooms out. And uh, it's a little, little chaotic there. And then the water starts again and then there's a little bit more chaos. So cleaning this clip up is a little bit more than just a simple trimming of the input and output. You really have to split this clip and do a lot more work to it than that. So let's just go ahead and select the clip, click on the tools button at the bottom of the screen, and then we could scroll down. You could actually use your mouse wheel for that if you'd like to. And I'm going to choose smart trim. Now when we do that, Premiere Elements is going to analyze our video and it's going to put little dash marks. These are selectable little slash marks, I guess you could call them, over your clip to tell you where it thinks the stuff that you might consider getting rid of. So for example, here when the camera kind of tilts around and then zooms in, I surely don't want that. Actually, I'm gonna click these other two sections to deselect them. But I know that I don't want this section. So what I could do is click on it, oops, click to select it, and if the lines are white, then you know it's selected. If the lines are blue, you know that it's deselected. So with the selected selection, I'm gonna right click on it. And I'm gonna choose trim. And boom, just like that, it's gone. We go from watering the grass and there's an automatic little cross dissolve that it adds here for you. And we got rid of that entire section without having to manually go through and detect where those little spots were. Now right here, She's watering the garden and the camera kind of moves with her a little bit and then she continues to water. And in this case, I want that clip. I don't want it to remove it. So I can click it, right click on it and choose keep. And then it keeps it. No changes. Now, when we're all done, we can click the done button up here in the upper right hand corner. But I'd like to direct your attention to this one really cool button right here, smart trim options. I'm gonna click that. That opens up a little dialog box that gives us some control over smart trim and also gives us a little bit more insight into what is going on here. So smart trim is actually looking for a couple different things. On one hand, it's looking for quality, the quality of the footage. So if it's shaky or if there's all of a sudden weird lighting issues that happen, if it gets really contrasty or low contrasty or super dark or super light, things like that, it's going to look for the quality. And another thing it's going to look for is the interest level. So it takes into consideration the dialogue, if people are talking or their faces or how many people are in a shot or if the camera is moving in a really nice way. And so it's going to look at that and it's going to determine what the best parts of your footage is. Now with these sliders, we can manually control the tolerances for those things. If we set these settings all the way to the right, we're only going to be able to keep all the best stuff. So basically almost everything's gonna have blue lines through it except for only the best material. If we take this slider all the way to the left, it's gonna get rid of very little stuff. It's going to only cut away the absolute worst of the footage. So I find that the defaults are actually pretty good, but when Premiere Elements gives you these little lines and you could pick, it kind of doesn't really matter because you can choose whether you want to delete those sections or not. Now in this mode section, you can see that I have mine set to manual. So I have to go through and evaluate all of Smart Trim's decisions on my own and decide whether I want to keep or delete those sections. I could set this to automatic and once I choose Smart Trim, Premiere Elements just goes crazy and gets rid of everything on its own without asking me. So if you really like this Smart Trim feature, and maybe you have little glitches in the beginning of your footage, the end of the footage, or in the middle, and you just want to get rid of it, you've got a good quality level and interest level that works for your footage, maybe you might want to set this to automatic, so all you have to do is select Smart Trim, and boom, your footage is all cut up all nice and wonderful. For right now, I'm just going to choose Cancel, and I'm going to click Done, and there we have our new clip, smartly trimmed, 
thanks to the smart trim feature.